Mia, what does Freddy's water look like? A fish bowl. Okay, it's a fish bowl. Oh, yeah. Abigail? It's not polluted. It's not polluted. How might Freddy feel living in water like this? How might he feel? Ideal? Okay. See what happens if this water is dirty. And we're going to talk about what, how might Freddy feel? Is it going to be easy or hard for him to breathe in water that's dirty? What do you think? Let's make a prediction. Turn and tell your neighbor. What do you think is going to happen if Freddy's water is dirty? So I want you to think in your head, keep your, keep your answer in your head what you think is going to happen when his water is dirty, how it's going to feel for him to breathe, and I'm going to tell you a story about Freddy. Now, okay, real quick, Madeline. Half side is light yeah, that's just the type of sponge he is. Okay, so this story is very important. Scoot back. Everybody's going to be able to see. Siobhan, if you scoot back, they can see. Oh, he's okay. This story is very, very special. And I have, I'm going to need a couple helpers to come up and help. Now, I don't have, the story's not long enough that every single person's going to come up. And that's okay, because sometimes people come up and help, and sometimes we like to sit and just watch. Right? So I don't want anyone to get upset. As I tell the story, there's going to be special things that we're going to be putting into Freddy's bowl. And I'm just going to share with you. I have chocolate syrup. Okay. And this is all re representing things that are going to make his water dirty. And you're going to hear what it's going to be in the story. I have pancake syrup. No. I have nice fresh soil from the garden. Ew. I have brown sugar. Yummy. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, you think it's yummy now. I have paper. Um, I did like the little hole punch and I have some paper dots. Yummy. Oh my gosh. And I have here, I have mixed Salt and coke, little shredded coconut. Yummy. 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 You're not going to eat it, so don't worry about it. And then I have some fancy food coloring. Food coloring. So I have blue. Oh, we're going to use yeah. blue today. Yeah. And we're going to use yeah. red. Yeah. Now, when I call you up to be a helper to put something in the bowl, pay us out. I didn't say, raise your hand. You're not going to go crazy with it, okay? If you're going to add a couple drops, one, two drops. Maybe put a little bit of the soil in. Okay. All right. Here starts the story. Hands down. Hands down. Imagine a clean river as it runs through a protected wilderness area in Arlington. That's where we live. In this river lives Freddy the fish. So you have to imagine, visualize Freddy in like the Lubber Run River. How might Freddy look? He's in a clean river. We talked about that. How does he look right now? Happy. Happy and clean. Freddy has lived in Arlington all of his life, but now his home is changing because people in town are polluting the area. Here starts the story. Freddy swims next to Barrett. Wave to Freddy. There he goes. He passes a freshly plowed riverbank. It begins to rain and some soil washes into the river. So, can I have Mia? Come on up, Mia. You're going to put some soil into Freddy's bowl. Dump the soil into Freddy's bowl. Dump a little bit, and then I'm going to have someone else have a turn. Dump a little bit. Here, you got to open it up a little. There you go. Okay. Hydro, can you come dump a little more? Goodness. Okay, that's perfect. All right, we're gonna. That's all we're gonna do for this. Okay, back up, Hydro. Let's look at Freddy. Mm. Freddy mirrors the local target. The landscapers are dumping the extra fertilizer from the flower garden into the river. 
we're going to put some brown sugar in Freddie's jar. So this is representing the fertilizer that's being dumped in. Pedro, come on up. I like that you're being happy for friends that are having fun. Just dump a little bit, you don't have to dump the whole bag. Perfect, thank oh you. Oh my god, I'm starting it. Okay. Yeah. That was the fertilizer that went in the river. Next. It smells good. The fertilizer made the plants in the river grow very fast and thick. The plants are making it hard for Freddy to breathe. What do living things need to breathe? Water. Ian. Water. What do we need to breathe? He's in the water. Oxygen. But Think it's easy for him to breathe? No. Oh. Let's keep reading. Freddie swims beside the large Harris Teeter parking lot. Some cars are parked in the in the lot, and they're leaking oil. The rain is washing the oil into the river. So the pancake syrup is going to represent our oil. Can I have Xander come up and squeeze a little pancake syrup? You just have to dump it, Xander. Xander, you just have to dump it. Yeah. You don't have to squeeze it. It's, it's, it's like, it's like. I'm going to squeeze all of it. Okay, there goes the, oh, right on Freddie's head. There's the oil. Like so, can you squeeze a little more for us, please? Yeah, it's a little bit Easy does it there. Okay, that's <laughs> Okay, I want you to think about this question. How is Freddie's water starting to look? Turn and tell your partner. Some cars are parked in the lot leaking oil, and the rain is washing that oil into the water. And we just talked about how it's starting to look. I heard a lot of good answers and good words like dirty, thick, black, brown. Those are words that the water is like floating. Here comes the next part. During the snowstorm, during this winter, you know we had a lot of snow, ice was on the roads. So the truck spread salt, you know the salt trucks, Leland, on the road to prevent accidents. The rain is now washing salty slush into the river. Can I have my Jose put a little bit of our salty, snowy salt? Oh! Watch the bag. Okay, do that. Watch the bag. Shake it on in there. Shake it, shake it. Don't be shy. Okay. Okay. Let's share this duty with someone else. Louder, come on over. Louder. Okay, louder. Okay, louder. Okay, louder. Okay, louder. Okay. So, what did we just put into his water? Who can share? What did? What just went into his water? Amy. Snow. Snow and salt. Salt. Okay, next. Freddie swims past Lover Run. Hands down. Some picnickers didn't throw out their trash into the garbage can, especially the glass and the plastic bottles. The wind is blowing it into the river. Our garbage is going to be represented by paper dots. See, Leland, you've been sitting so nicely. Put a little bit of the paper dots here. I'm going to put it in the Okay, yeah. sprinkle them on in. Up, oh, there's the trash. Into Freddy's Let's see. <laughs> Colin, you're sitting nicely. How about some paper dots? Right there. No on their head. Yeah. Sprinkle it on. <laughs> And a deal is sitting nice. Come sprinkle some in. Don't sprinkle it on his head. Do it. Do it on his head. Don't sprinkle it on his head, Adele. You've seen the camera before. Because it looks so good. That looks just like a swamp. So I know we're laughing. It looks funny. But if this was real life, I don't think it would be that funny. 
What I want you to think about now is, how do you think Freddie might feel with the garbage in his habitat? In other words, don't stand up. Talk to your neighbor. How does he feel? How might he feel? Tell your neighbor. So the picnickers didn't throw their trash out, and they definitely were not recycling because all their garbage ended up in Freddie's home, the river. Now we're going to McDonald's. Several McDonald's are located around Arlington. Each garbage can only holds so much garbage. But McDonald's customers continue to throw their garbage out when the garbage can is full. And the garbage cans are overflowing. And the trash is on the ground. And it's being blown into the river. So my chocolate syrup is going to represent the McDonald's garbage. Siobhan, you're sitting nicely. Come give a little squirt. Just a little squirt. That's Mr. Kirk's chocolate, so we don't want to use too much. <laughs> he loves his chocolate syrup. <laughs> Just a little bit. Stella, give a little squirt. I'm not bleeding. Yay, Stella. If Mr. Kirk only knew what we were using this for. Okay. <laughs> why why, why didn't you hold him? Poyo chicken is the place to eat after school. Many people, again with the trash, many people, Hyro, are not throwing out their garbage. And they're leaving their food on the ground. And now it's ending up in Freddy's home. What we're going to do is we're going to put some red food dye going to represent our we are from the restaurant. Naomi, come give one squirt. One drop, because we're going to pass it to someone else. Good, perfect. Thank you. Kala, come give a squirt. Kala, don't do anything. Okay, perfect. Madeline, give a squirt. Yay, Madeline. It looks like blood. It looks like blood. Yay, Madeline. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now, let's look. How does Freddy's home look? Does it look like a healthy place to live? No. Why not? Raise your hand. Why not? Why doesn't it look like a healthy place to live? Xander. And can someone share again what pollution means? What does it mean to pollute something? Calypso? Like, home is dirty and filthy. Dirty and filthy, yes. Okay, here comes the last part. Finally, Freddie swims past the car wash on Glebe Road. Barrels of cleaning chemicals that are used to clean the cars are leaking into the street. The rain is washing these poisons and chemicals into the river. So our poisons and chemicals are going to be blue dye. If you do not have a turn yet, just raise your hand so I can see. One, two, three, four. Amy, you have a turn? You didn't? Okay, you're each going to do one drop so everyone gets a turn. Ben, come on over. One drop. You can hide in your teeth. You can do it in his head. On his head. No. Perfect. That was oh more than one drop. Okay. Amy, one drop. Everything is on his head. Yeah. One drop. Perfect. Okay. Well, Ian. What color are you? One drop. Okay. That's just one drop. The lock. Come on over. He's bleeding. Perfect. Malak did one. Sorsha and then Abigail. And then everyone had a turn? No. Oh, good. It worked out. Perfect. One drop. Good. And then Abigail. No, I don't think Adele did it, Mr. Yes, he did. Oh my goodness, Freddy! Let's take a look at his water. Think about this question: 
How might he feel when he's trying to breathe? Think about what it feels like to breathe. Talk to your neighbor about what he might feel trying to breathe.